what is happening? It's a beautiful day and I wanted to just do my makeup in front of the window. Um, if y'all are like, oh, I love the lighting, just so y'all know, sunlight can actually be a lot more blurring, um, a lot more forgiving, so that's why I use the studio light. I don't use a ring light to film, but um, yeah. And also sunlight can also warm things and then you're not seeing the truest color. So this lighting is really nice, but it's not accurate. So keep that in mind. This excites me and I wanna do mint because I just feel like it's spring outside. We're just springing it up. This is from my friend, Joe Baker. She's an incredible makeup artist. And there's two other ones. We're gonna use them too. They're more primary colors and the neons. Ooh. So there they are. You can't see them. Hang on, I'm gonna hold them individually so you can see. This is the one we're using pastel. Here, the neons. And then here we have some primaries. Are your pastels not pastelling? Let me show you. So here's an eyeshadow base closer to my skin tone. And then here we have a white eyeshadow base. Now let's take our pastel. We're gonna tap it on top of this. Still beautiful. And you can see it's even brighter than this. Now we're gonna tap it on top of the white eyeshadow base and it's gonna be as true as it is in the pan now. The lighter the base, the truer the color will be. So I just did this demo here and I'm gonna post that on TikTok today. You'll see what I'm talking about, but I'm basically going to explain it here. So with our pastels, we want a white base. And I know that you're thinking that will not look good on my skin tone, but just remember the lighter the base, the truer the color. Now, if you even have a darker skin tone, this gets completely covered. I do not want you to think I can't wear that. Um, this is gonna be covered by eyeshadow. And then even if we bring it over this way, we can clean that up later and I will show you. But if you want your colors to show as true as they are in the pan, we're going to want a white eyeshadow base. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And before we move on, I cannot stress enough how important it is to use a brush with short, dense bristles because this type of base, we don't set it. We set it as we go, and you'll see that. I'm not gonna place any powder on top of this. I'm going to just start pressing that shadow on top, but it's so important for you to make this as smooth, even, and thin as possible. And this brush does do that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna switch to the shade Fair. Lord, good Lord, that's what's snoring right there. Right there. Is he done? Okay. Anyways, clean canvas, the shade Fair. I'm going to melt that into the white and that's gonna go up towards the brow bone because I don't, I'm gonna use neutrals in my crease, so I don't need them to be as true. I could have used the white, but this is a really good way if you're intimidated. Just kind of use the base that you would always use when closer to your skin tone. A little less scary. This is amazing. So I am gonna load up my brush when it comes to this because we wanna set this pretty quickly and pretty evenly base like this is going to crease until it's set perfectly normal smooth it out we've already got our brush queued up here and now we're just going to start to pack that and press it into the base and this is what i'm talking about when i'm saying i'm setting as i go picking up more of that same shade just keep building that up and i'm actually going to get a lot more pigment if i don't set with a powder before So pretty. They are in my attic doing attic activities. So if you hear that and you're wondering what the heck's going on, and then there's a ladder. It's just they at Rose's house. <laughs> Okay, so we have that warm brown. It's it's wild, it's wild behind me, I'm sorry. They'll be finished in just a second. I might actually pause. 
But we have that warm brown just on one side of the brush. And this is the same brush I used for the mint as well. And we're just gonna push that. But look at how precise we can get that. Do you see that? So nice and precise. And now I'm just gonna use the side of the brush to press it and to blend it. And we're blending it up towards the brow. I know this looks a mess, but it's just about cleaning it up. So now we're gonna switch to an E27. <laughs> it could be your own water heater sometimes. So I wanna add more definition. So I'm gonna grab a whisper of this shade and I'm grabbing it on an E27 because I want more precision. But I'm just going to put that color on the outer edge. And these type of warm browns always look so pretty with mint, but so do cool tones. I did, I chose these colors because they're a little bit more flexible and easier to work with. Cool tones can be a little more temperamental. And the reason why is because of formula. Did y'all know that a lot of times the colors that we gravitate towards, it's not even because we like the way they look on our skin tone, it's because they're easier to work with. Warm browns are a very specific formula and you can be a lot more aggressive with them. I need to do a video on that. All right, listen. I'm feeling a little TikTok as I'm doing this, so you'll see how it applies there. It was so easy. It was just like swoosh and I had a mint waterline. If you are wanting to just get into um, fun colors and you don't want to commit to the whole minty lid situation, I look absolutely horrifying, but I'm going to show you. Anyways, <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself. This Marva Cosmetics gel liner, just used it. It's fantastic. 10 out of a 10. And it's a really fun way to incorporate a color into your look. Just put this on your waterline with your just your classic everyday look that you're, you enjoy. Um, get this. You, you're going to like it. Let me give you a tip, because what good am I if I'm not giving tips? It's what I love to do. Going over this with liquid liner, it's going to be tricky, especially if you have lines in your eye, which I have. It's happened. It happened. It happened. Here we are. Gel liner. Just do yourself a favor. I know that we find gel liner and a bent liner brush like this intimidating, but it's actually going to be the easiest, especially if your lids are becoming a little bit looser like mine. I find myself reaching for my gel and for my E26, my bent liner brush, but look, that's gonna be too much. I got out too much. I'm here to help you. But right now I'm suffering trying to put a lid back on. Hang on, there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna take this and I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand. And what you're gonna see me do is I'm evening this out and making sure this is a really nice pointy situation. Now we want to hold it pretty far back and we're just going to start to sketch it out. You have so much more control. I don't have a lot on my brush. So if you're wondering that doesn't look good, you don't want a lot on your brush at first. That's what happens. The less you have on your brush, the more control you're going to have. Or the more, let me rephrase that because I'm talking and doing liner. The more you have on your brush, the more likely you are to lose control of everything. And then we just pick up more and then we just continue to fill that in. And it goes right over our lines, right over, see that? Do you see how I have that line there? If I just tilt my head back, we can go right over that. I don't have to hold it. Also, don't forget when you're doing your wing liner that we can turn our head to get a better angle. Now, if I see if I tilt my head back now, I can get in that little gap there. And don't worry about underneath here. We're still going to clean that up. And now I have this and I want to use it. 
I'm, I'm into the glitter liners at the moment, y'all, and I can't be tamed. So I'm just gonna take this and put this right on top. And it actually has green in it. Ooh, that, ooh, look at it sparkle. And then now we'll clean all that up. Now we're gonna clean this up. I already did this side. Really, really like this. The Bioderma, this is the green one, really nice. C30, and then we're gonna clean this up first. For this area, we're gonna need to get our foundation on. I'm just gonna pinch it. But this area, I can start to clean and shape with the micellar water. Now, I am gonna do falsies, but before I add falsies, I always do mascara. But when it comes to pastels like this, it can get a little sketchy because we might bump it. And we could fix it, I'll show you. Um, but before we mess up, let me just show you. So what I'll do is I'll wiggle my mascara in here, shut both eyes. Um, I can shut one at a time, but if you can't, just wiggle, shut, and then roll that through. You have a lot more control, coats all the lashes, and you have less, less of a risk of getting that mascara all over that mint. This mascara is pretty. It's from Mob Beauty as well. I'm probably their biggest fan now. Okay, so we got our lash on and this, this is the style New Moon. That's the link right there. They have, uh, Roquel Beauty has my favorite lashes. And what I'm doing right now, I'm just waiting for them to get a little bit more tacky and watch my last post. Look at this difference. I love makeup. So now I have the foundation here, which this foundation is actually getting a little bit too light for me. And I just figured out something that we're gonna do to fix that. Just gonna take that, tap it right on top. I do, I did forget to show you, I just picked up the tiniest amount. You see that? I picked that up about two times and I just tap that over to clean up, tap it across here and it'll even blend it over this way. Some of you have seen me do this a million times, but if you're new here, this is one of my favorite things to do. Okay, so I hopped off to film the foundation situation, but I'm gonna tell you what I used. This is getting way too light for me and you're gonna see that. That's what happens. It gets, it gets really springy where I live real quickly. It's full spring outside. I think it's 85 today, it's wonderful. Anyways, I get tan. But I fixed it with this and you'll see. I bought this um, right after it launched and I actually got the wrong shade and now, I'm able to use it. We're gonna call this a makeup happy, happy accident. Um, I'll post it. I, literally, as soon as I get done here, I'll post it on TikTok. And then if you don't have TikTok, I'll post it here too. I'll probably post it here tomorrow though. So I wanna brighten up this concealer. This is the one I wanna use. What is this one? This is 22P, um, Sephora Best Can Ever. I love it, but I want a little bit brighter pinker under eye. And I could put this on top, but I'm filming so much that I don't want to do too many steps and lose track of where I'm at while I'm filming. So we're going to do a half and half situation. And I'm actually going to mix it with my finger. Perfect. Just brighten it a little bit more. And then I'm going to grab it on my brush. Perfect. Same thing with the eyeshadow base. Concealer, she can be a cruel mistress, friends. And I know that when we do makeup, a lot of times we're in a hurry, but if you can take a little extra time to blend your concealer, it makes a difference. Okay, we might be onto something with this mixture because my under eye, I don't have powder yet, but it just looks almost like it's glowing. Of course, no shimmer, nothing like that. It's just that color is so nice. I'm showing from all the angles. That's really pretty. And then I'm just using whatever's left on my hand and putting it here to just highlight the center of my face.
Now we're gonna try out my friend, Kristen Dominique. She has a pink powder and I haven't tried it yet. I just opened it up so excited. <laughs> I love makeup. So let me smooth this out cause I've been finishing up some of my filming. Always smooth out your concealer right before. See how quickly I just went in? That's how quickly we need to go in with that powder. Ooh, that's pretty. Feels very lightweight too. Pretty, very smoothing. I'm gonna go ahead and set the center of my face. Pick up some more. Set this side. Did I just find a super red bronzer? Y'all know how much I love red bronzers because when the sun hits my skin tone, and after where it naturally hits, it's gonna turn a little bit red. That doesn't mean tomato red, but it does have a little bit more of a tawny. Oh. I think I might have to compare this. This to the Gucci bronzer because I think I just found my new favorite bronzer. This one's for Mob Beauty. I haven't, I haven't seen one this red. This excites me. I love it. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm so, I'm so excited. So this makes my makeup heart sing. That is so bright. This is one of the new ColourPop blushes. I had Flamingo, which is the really bright pink. I've had that way before it launched. Okay, pigmented, beautiful, stunning. I love the color. I feel like this would be really pretty on tan skin tones as well. And I feel like it might even work on deeper skin tones because I feel like I'm barely tapping in there. It's super pigmented. Love this color with the mint oh it's so pretty a little across here across the nose all right so we're going back in with the mint this brush is a prototype let's just put it here on the inner corner so pretty the thuds going on it's still out of control here So now I'm just gonna soften it over this way. So springy. Now let's go on a lip journey. I wanna do a really peachy lip. So I'm gonna grab this NYX. This is the Smoothie Whip Matte Lip Cream. <gasps> it's perfect. Okay. And then I have my Myra Cosmetics Lip Liner. The shade I'm using is Caramel Beige. This is also gonna be a really affordable lip too. And I'm kind of taking that lipstick or the lip cream and I'm blending as I go and mixing it with that lip cream, mixing it with the liner and you actually get a little bit more definition and a more blended look. And then me and this Wet n Wild gloss, we kind of fell in love yesterday and I wanna find any excuse to wear it. Ooh, that is pretty. And I like how it's see-through, but look at this color and it has such gorgeous shimmer. 10 out of a 10. Now I'm just gonna finish up with some mascara on my bottom lashes. one thing my mom used to tell me to do she was like in my day she's 70 now that's kind of how she talks <laughs> we would draw lashes on it's fun right nothing new it's been around for I don't even know how long but it's really fun to do and it adds volume
All right, y'all, that's it for today. I feel very spring. I am excited. I wanna do some more spring looks. We need to use the purple and I wanna use the pink and I wanna use the blue. And then I wanna use these. And you know what? I actually love how small they are. I love that. I have an idea. I could teach y'all something right now. Not right now, but I could teach you something with this blue and it has to do with bronzer. Because by now, if you've been with me, we know that blue cools slash cancels orange. So keep that in mind. And also it felt really nice to sit here in the sunshine and now you can see the light shifting. This is why, this is why I prefer the studio lighting. This is just so soft and then it's uneven and then now it turns golden and it's fun, but it's not accurate. But it is nice to sit here with an open window. It's nice. So I might do that a couple more times this week. I love y'all so much. And I'm gonna post how I wash my brushes. I'm literally about to go edit that and put it on TikTok right now. But I love you all with all of my heart and I'll see you in the comments tonight.